guys, I am back with my January empties. I don't really have too many products this month because I found that I was using a lot of new things and not really using up my old products. But let me go ahead and show you what I did use up. The first thing was my CVS makeup wipes. This was my last pack of the CVS makeup wipes and I'm glad to say that they are gone and I no longer have any. They are awful and I will never purchase them again. I finished up another um, packet of makeup remover wipes. This is the Yes to Cucumbers. Um, I didn't like these the first time around when I tried them, but I actually did like them. The second time, I actually received these for Christmas. I believe that they were in my stocking for my mom, and they were really nice. Um, they did burn my skin a little bit. I don't know if I would necessarily seek them out because of that reason, because they did burn, and there's other things that I've used, but if you're looking for a good makeup remover wipe, check this out, especially if you don't have very sensitive skin. And it's wet. I don't know. Something's in here is leaking. The next thing I finished was my Head & Shoulders Conditioner. Smell good. I mean, there's not really much to say about that. I don't even know why it's in here. Uh, the next thing I used up was the Bior, Biore, whatever you want to call it. The Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. I did use this in the past. I got a really good deal on these products at CVS with coupons and all of that. I did like it, and if I can get it on a deal again, I will. But this is not something that I would really go and seek out because it says that it has um, salicylic acid in it for an acne treatment, but it did nothing for my acne. Um, it did feel nice because it was had a really nice cooling uh, effect, especially in the morning when you're trying to wake up. It helped to wake me up. Um, but it did nothing for my skin at all, so if I got an idea, I would purchase it, but again, not something I would necessarily seek. The next thing I finished was the Dreamy Vanilla Woods Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is a miracle for me. I never finish lotion, but I actually really enjoyed this one. I did finish the body wash quite a while ago, last fall, but I had a little bit of this lotion left, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to use it up. It needs to be gone. Um, and I really love this scent. It's amazing. Um, of course, it's great for fall, but I also really like it just kind of as a nighttime scent because it's really relaxing and warming, and I don't know. I just really enjoyed this, and if they do have it um, in the future, I will definitely stock up, but I don't know if you can still get this scent. I can't right now, that's for sure, but maybe next fall they'll come back out with it. Uh, the next thing I finished, which is not completely gone, but I am calling it done, is the Sephora Cleansing Foam. My husband just kind of got this for me as like a Christmas gift last year. Just something to try because it was on a really good sale for like four bucks or something. But it did not work. It didn't do anything for me. You had to pump like a million pumps into your hand to even have it be enough. And after like washing my face with it, I still felt like my face was oily or dirty and it just was not, ill. like gross. This is why it was four dollars because it sucks. So, done with that. I'm happy for it to be gone. Um, I have my Dazzling Diamonds, I was going to say sparkling, but Dazzling Diamonds Antibacterial Hand Gel. Um, I use this stuff at work all the time and I really did enjoy this scent and it had sparkles in it, so it was nice. I finished up this uh, Slack & Co. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Mini Candle. It's weird because it's not fall anymore, but I really did enjoy this scent, and I had it burning in my bathroom for a little while, and um, I don't know, I just really liked it. And what's weird is this is the old packaging and the plastic, and this one burnt so much better than my glass ones do. I don't know if the wick is too short or what, but um, it's amazing, the difference. This one burns so much better. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but the plastic ones I feel are better. I finished up this Physician's Formula Miami Strip Healthy Glow Bronzer. Um, it says that it's a custom bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow. It says the shimmer strips. I use it as eyeshadow. It is completely dirty and disgusting and gross. I use all of it. This was one of the first things that I purchased when I first started couponing, and I really did enjoy it. I did like it while I was using it, but I'm glad that it's not in my collection anymore just because it's so gross, and no matter how much I try and clean it, there's like caked on nasty makeup stuck to it. The next thing I have is my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in the color 825 Buff Beige. Love this stuff. I've already repurchased a second one that I'm using now. It's probably one of my favorite liquid foundations. Um, if you guys saw my stocking stuffer video, I got this beauty spoon thing, which basically is like a little spatula and you can use it to like scrape out the makeup. And I did that on this. I don't know if you can tell, but I scraped out every little last bit that I could. I loved it so much. Um, definitely a little bit goes a long way, but I felt like this really didn't last too long. Um, but it was only a few bucks, so whatever. I really enjoyed that. Like I said, probably one of my favorite um, liquid foundations. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. I got mine from Target. The very last thing I have to show you, which was something that I was not happy to be done with because I absolutely loved it. This is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash by The Body Shop. I just bought a little trial size at Ulta um, because I needed to get to a certain amount to use a coupon. 
and this sounded interesting and I really enjoyed it. It made my skin feel so nice and like tingly. It was great in the morning. It had like a nice um, scent and it just woke me up and felt good, made my skin feel good. Um, I don't know how well it did clearing my skin, um, but definitely it didn't hurt it and I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. So I'll probably repurchase this in the future and I'll pay more attention to if it really does clear my skin up or not. Um, but yeah, so those are my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.